welcome back everyone. We are playing Brunhilda and the Dark Crystal. We are in chapter 7 out of 10, and this is the Magic University. Strange. This tingling in my left foot. Could it be that someone is using the teleport stone? My garden! This is outrageous! Whoever you are, you must undo the damage. I have spent the whole day raking this lawn. But isn't this supposed to be a magical university? It is. Or rather, I should say it was. But magical universities also have well-kept gardens. Forgive me my manners. It has been a long time since we have had any visitors. I am Marcellus. This place is decaying now. Almost everyone left when magic started growing weaker. I am trying to keep it from falling apart. I see. Sorry for making such a mess. We didn't do that on purpose. Let us help you with these leaves. All right, we are gathering leaves. Not bad at all. And last leaves are over there. Thank you. I see that you are a wizardry apprentice. I also recognize you, Demon. How is Master Philemon doing in these difficult times? Hi, Marcellus. Long time no see. This is Brunhilde. Nice to meet you. So you know Farman? Of course I do. He had been our provost for 15 years, but then he got obsessed with old prophecies and left to work in a hermitage. Judging by the state of our affairs, it is safe to assume that he was right, but back then he was a laughingstock. Since you are here, I assume he must have a plan. Well, maybe. We came here to talk with Provost Julian. This could turn out to be problematic. You see, he passed away a few days ago. Currently, our acting provost is Master Bloom. He resides in the provost's office in that tower over the library. But to get there, you will have to fix the teleport stones. As you can see, each of them has several magic railings missing. Find them to activate the platforms. I would wish you a pleasant chat with him, but I know better. Oopsie day, that doesn't sound very good for us, does it? When he says it like that. Alright, so we gotta find all these railings here. Of course, there's one left that I cannot find. Mm. Lots of rakes, though. And, I don't know, this tree is like, just laden with random stuff. It's weird. Did you check here? No. Wait, where are the teleport- oh, here. We can now go talk to the provost. I see. Oh. Hello. Yes? What brings you here? Can you see that I'm busy with my new provost duties? Yeah. Hello. We are actually trying to figure out a way to save this world and... Save? The world is in danger? This demands a solid study and some research. And I know everything about research. After all, I am the provost, you know. We will start methodically with the first problem, the world. Quickly, bring me some globes and calipers. Uh, dude? Okey dokey. Uh, cool, cool. Well, we have convinced you that the badgers here are a problem. Would you help us? Are you gonna help us? I mean, the world's in danger. I guess we can take the badgers later. No? Yes? Badgers seem to be a problem. Seem to be a lot of them, though. I only find badgers. Wherever I look, there are badgers. and stuffs. Oh, three more calipers in here? Really? Oh, there's one. And... 
Hmm. I thought you were a giant globe, but no. Okay, let's go outside for a bit. Look for thingies here instead. Uh, yeah, totally. There's a badger problem here. Whoa, lots of globes out here. Somewhere. It's so annoying. How can it be so hard? All oh, the sale signs too. Uh, two more globes and one caliper. Two more globes. Okay, I'm gonna use. This I have a globe. good feeling about this area. Okay, thank you. Where are all these globes? Okay, there's one. Where's this last globe? This is a lot. This is a lot of detail when finding stuff. Haha. <laughs> ha -ha. It's cool. I know it's a little more old school in a way. It's cool. It's cool. Not seeing that. Uh, and here again. What's with all the flying cutlery? Like, really? Oh, that was actually... One, okay. Alright, calipers. I have a good feeling about this area. Oh, jeez. You get so blind! It's like one of the hardest finding items ever just completely blind help me point I'm not gonna understand now I did you check here oh dear what is it round this only raises further questions what is this danger that you are talking about <laughs> How did you become provost? The magic is growing weaker and weaker. We have to stop it. In order to... This nonsense again. It is not growing weaker. It is gradually getting useless. Consider this an opportunity. When it was strong, there were sure candidates for the provost's office. But now I have taken up that post. This is the best thing that has happened to this university for ages. I will use this chance to switch its profile to business or agriculture. Anyway, could you get rid of these magical eyes? They keep having sideways glances at me. Yeah! I don't think you're the best thing that happened this university, you do. Gee, I wonder why. Yeah, exactly, I wonder why. You ain't doing your job, dude, that's why. And seriously, you got a badger problem. You really have. You really have this badger problem. That's the last one. Since we're done, would you mind if we studied the notes of Provost Julian? It would be helpful if we could check his belongings, too. Impossible. You see, I was contacted by the king himself, and he requested all provost's stuff to be shipped to the capital. Isn't being a provost great? The king himself talks to me. Although he was kind of angry that I couldn't find some kind of stone or crystal that belonged to Julian. If you find it, bring it to me. Uh, and no. where could I find it? Provost Julian liked to spend time in the library. You could look in there, if you don't mind this whole bumptious science and knowledge atmosphere. I think I will convert it into a dining hall sometime soon. 
Anyway, I will have to give you a special library pass, and this will take some time. You can wait in the garden. Why do you even attend the university, dude? It's like not where you Let's were supposed go. to we'll be. We'll hang out with Marcellus. Why are you even here? I can see that our new honorable provost has made quite an impression. I presume he told you to wait here while he takes care of some very important bureaucratic paperwork. Maybe you could give me a hand and entertain an old man with some small talk? I need someone with keen eyes to remove those for sale signs. I knew it! You totally have a problem with the for sale signs and with the badgers. Like, do something about the badgers. Here you go. Is this place really for sale? It was one of the great ideas of our new provost. He figured that if no one wants to study magic, he will sell a few buildings and switch the school profile to magical arts. More painting, less spell casting. I prefer it when he sticks to his bureaucratic hobbies. Then he doesn't have time to improve the campus. Could you catch that flying cutlery? It has escaped from the dining hall. Again. The flying cutlery! We're totally getting, to to totally getting the flying cutlery! That was not flying cutlery, Drats. And I could only find one flying cutlery, apparently. Oh, there's another one. Yeah, flying cutlery everywhere. Would someone please tell me to get the badgers? They're totally annoying me. You got a badger problem. Mm. Where's the rest of the, where's the last flying cutlery? Thank you. So how is the quest for Philemon going? Have you figured out how to prevent the weakening of magic? We suspect that the King's Crystal is the problem. It's sucking the magic from this world and trapping it inside. That would be quite ironic, considering that the King is using it to prevent magic from leaving this realm. I would like to hear what Philemon is planning, but first do me a favor and find the rakes. I need them to plant azaleas around this tree. But that's the point. When the prophecy talked about magic disappearing, it was probably talking about the fact that the king would take all the magic, right? So it's kind of this like, if you look into the future and see what's happening and then you try to do something about it, that's gonna happen because what you're seeing is the actual future of what will happen because you know what will happen. It's like, you know, that logic. I like that logic. I like how people in books Not bad always at all. fail that logic. It's like, what, I mean, on the other hand, it's kind of like whatever you do, it's gonna happen because what you're seeing is what's gonna happen. Or, you know, prophecy. If you have, um, if you have prophecies and stuff like that in your world, um, or if you don't have a world where you can actually break a prophecy, that's, you know, that's another thing. Why can't I find this rake? <laughs> I only see a spade. I know, I'm using so many hints here, but it's like you it's ridiculous. check here. <sighs> Thank you. You are very helpful. So, if it really is the crystal that drains the magic, what is your plan? I haven't gone that part yet. Falman thinks we should hide the remaining shards of the crystal so it can't be completed and then smash the large piece hidden below the castle. But I'm not sure if this is a good idea. I mean, all this has already happened before, right? So it will happen again. It's just a matter of time. True. I see what you are getting at. I will water the roses and think about it. Meanwhile, could you weed out the man-eating plants? They are too big for me, and prove to be too big even for my golem helper, poor thing. Aww. Poor golem helper. Uh, there we go. While you were weeding the garden, I was thinking about what you had said. So, you would rather complete the crystal and trap the magic forever? This is a pretty radical concept. I hope you two know what you are doing. 
Now, go and see if the provost has finished his bureaucratic rituals. Actually, an idea. It is. You are here. Good. The pass is almost finished. All I need now are some very important stamps and university seals. I didn't have time to find them. Bring them to me, and I will be able to finish this. All right, all right. You still have a badger problem. I'm never gonna stop talking about this until I can do something about it, because seriously, it is a problem. Like, are you seeing this, dude? Are you seeing the badger problem? No? Really? What? Who's gonna see the badger problem? This is actually gonna be interesting. Who's gonna ask me to take care of the badgers? Marcellus or Bloom? Uh. Did you check here? No. I did not. Well done. Not bad at all. Yeah, 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 I'm the best. Ah, uh, one of each left. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there we go. All right, Bloom. Took you some time. I have very important provost duties to carry out. Take this pass and talk to Marcellus. He is probably in the garden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go do all your important provost staffs. Provost said I should talk to you about entering the library. You wanted to enter the library? You should have said that earlier. I am the librarian. I just like coming here and taking care of this courtyard. Tending plants helps me think. It is too noisy in the library, which makes working there impossible. Noisy? In the library? Yes, all those rabid grimoires. This reminds me, you still have to find mystic paperweights of protection to enter the library. They repel grimoires. Should be easy to spot. Simple reddish stones with red runes. <laughs> really, you have grimoires running rampant in the library? I don't know if I want to go there anymore. Seems kinda dangerous. I see you have found all of them. Good. This should keep the books at bay. Are you looking for something specific in the library? We think that the dead provost was in the possession of a shard of the Dark Crystal. We want to look for some clues in the library. Provost Bloom said that he was spending most of his time in the library, so it seems like a good place to start. His belongings should be lying on the desk with a fancy dragon lamp. Good luck. Meanwhile, I will water the geranium. Okay. Ooh, this is a library. Okay, cool. Like fifty percent left, though. This book won't open. Strange. Psst. Keep your voice down. Oh, sorry. Have you seen all those wild grimoires all around this place? Not to mention the drain, the rain scissors. The moment I open up, they will shred my precious peaches to ribbons. This place is getting out of control lately. You have your protective paperweights. I only have my covers. Sorry, I didn't mean to click. You like that? Uh, grimoires. Is it safe? At last, my pages need to get some fresh air. Oh no, just look at this. I was so scared that I forgot to eat, and my ink has bleached out. I look terrible. This is completely unreadable. Could you please bring me as much ink and quills as you can find? Only a solid meal can help me now. Aw, he has to eat ink. Aw. 
That is adorable. Well done. Okay, seriously, what is with the badgers? This is so annoying. Badgers, get out of here. I just need four feathers, actually. Or actually, two quills in here, no feathers. And then other places. Did you check here? No. It was too big. On chapter six. Um. Oh, there's more ink in here. I see. I see. Uh, and two quills, or one. This spot looks oh, promising. Yeah. Alright, cool. Speak with the book. There you are, book. Once you feel better, could you tell us what Provost Julian was studying? I am an index book, so I can give you a pretty good picture of what he was up to. He had read a few works on an artifact called the Dark Crystal, including the first edition of The Crystal Doomsday Device or Salvation. This one is bound in a leather cover, a really nice one. Anyway, he made some notes in my margins. If you could find my set of magnifying glasses, I would be able to read them to you. You're a book. Couldn't you read your own scribbles? Weird. Okay, they're all in here. Cool. Last one is... Kind of a lot of this chapter left, I'm feeling. There we go. Much better! He noted that once the crystal is completed, all the magic will be sealed inside of it, probably forever. That was the original purpose of creating the artifact. Then, he noted that he discussed by mail the implications of such an event with his colleagues. I guess that if you could find these letters, I would be able to cross-reference them and prepare a digest for you. A digest? What is a digest? All right. Well, I think we will take a have to take a break here because this chapter seems to be uh, a bit longer. So, anyways, we're playing Brunhilde and the Dark Crystal. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you later.